Civil Site Design has a driveway checking tool which can be applied to driveways that have maybe already been designed in respect of the laybacks which we have done with these two driveways here or maybe you want to review um, the potential for any clashing on any future driveways that you're going to be designing before you actually go ahead and design them. So the driveway tool can be used in a reconstruction or a subdivision uh, scenario. So we're going to go up to the roads tab driveways panel and click on the set layer pull down. So you have to run these in sequence if you haven't run the driveway tool before. So we'll click set layer. All that the software wants you to do is click near the alignment of the road that you're currently designing on top of. So in our case it's road E. We're going to click near the alignment and a brand new layer is going to be created and the reason why this layer is important is because any polylines that are drawn on that layer will be assigned the driveway criteria. So we're going to click OK then all we're going to do is simply just use the polyline command here to draw a polyline through the driveway, just a rough uh, shape here like this. Now, normally what would happen is if the first time you've run this on a job, you'll immediately get the driveway criteria form pop up. Now, we have already run it on this, so we won't get the form to pop up, but what we're going to do is copy the polylines and simply position them over the driveways, and you can make adjustments to these using the grips or redraw them as you see fit. When we go back to the pull down, we can click on create. Then all it's prompting us for is to, well, which road are we working on? Bearing in mind we can have driveways on multiple roads and we'll click on road E. So all that happens is it looks for the layer, which you can see up here, that all of the polylines have been drawn on and is going to assign the following driveway criteria. So where it says match code at start, it's going to apply in the background a hypothetical layback shape and it wants to know where that layback shape should start. So we're going to get it to start from the invert code. We then have a range of predefined layback shapes, which we can actually set up and we'll show you this at the end of the video. All I'm going to do is pick the 600 wide, 80 high. So basically the, from the invert code, we're gonna go 600 across and 80 up. We then have the option of applying a layback shape at the end. So you can actually create maybe, for example, a footpath, um, as we'll have a look at in a minute, and have that applied at the end if you want. Crucially though, we're going to be picking what the target surface is. So when we tie back in at the end of our driveway, which is gonna be this location here, what surface do we want to tie into? Now you may have a design surface that you're gonna be matching up to, but in this case, we don't have one. We're simply going to be picking the NS. That location there needs to be specified. So we can either say, yes, there's an offset from the center line of say 15 meters, and we know that that's where the time will occur, or an offset from the connection code, which in this case would be the invert. But in our case, we actually have a couple of polylines. So for the left side of the road, we can go and pick the polyline here. And for the right side of the road, we can pick this polyline here. So that's the constraint for the driveway. Adding the layback, transitioning up to the natural surface at, by the time it gets to this particular polyline. In the background, we just pick design settings. So we can choose what vehicles are going to be assessed for clashes. And in this case, we're picking both the B85 and B99. And then what surface would you like to have um, basically displayed in the background. You can pick multiple surfaces. I'm simply picking my road model. Once you've done that, you click Create Driveways. Now, on the face of it, nothing visually will happen in the drawing. So we now need to take the next step, which is to run a compliance check, which is what we're going to click on now. So the software goes ahead and runs a check with those vehicles and will provide you with a quick notepad report to determine whether or not there are some clashes. So you can see here on certain driveways, certain changes, yes, we have some clashes and they are denoted in the drawing by a little white cross. So let's have a look at what the issue may be. To do this, we go to the pull down again and click design. And then all you do is click the polyline that you want to review. Now, just to help us with the view here, I'm going to just make the exaggeration say two, make that a little bit easier to see. So all that's happening is that the software is taking our road design here and replacing the curb once it gets to the invert with our layback shape, which was 600 by 80. It's then tying back into the target surface where our polyline was being picked up. And you can see that using that green tracker in the background. Now, according to the clash report, there is potentially a clash here. So what we're going to do is see where that clash is. And we can do that using the analyze tab, driveway check. And then all we're going to do is pick the vehicle that we would like to review 
and pick mouse, forward and reverse and click OK. That's all you need to do to get this to be visualized. And if I move my mouse back and forth, no clicking required, I can see that there is clearly a clash on my design here. Now, the important thing to note that this is a checking tool. So this is just giving you a hypothetical scenario as to what your driveway may be doing in the scenario where you apply layback and you connect onto the natural surface. At this point, I've now got the choice of going in and maybe changing how I'm going to design this layback and maybe changing the elevations of my design going on behind the driveway. So it is very much a checking tool. And then I can come back and run the checking tool again to see if there's going to be any further issues. So I can run the same design tool on the driveway down to the south here. Again, this hasn't been designed, but I can see just by running the analyze tool, driveway check, forward and reverse, we'll run the B85 again. I can see that clearly there's gonna be some bottoming out issues with the back of the vehicle on the road. So again, I would need to go in and start to work on the design of those driveways. The great thing is though, is that we can obviously look at the drive in relation to how we've actually already designed it. So on these two, we have laybacks. I'm gonna run the design tool again, and we'll actually get a comparison here. And if we run the exaggeration to two, you can see that my layback has a lip. So this is actually a different layback. Um, but if we run the analyze driveway check, mouse forward and reverse, we can see that there are no issues with that particular driveway. Okay, even though that the driveway layback I have put in on the actual design is slightly different to that that I've specified. Now, if you want to change your layback shapes, you can do that by going to the pull down and click on make shape. So make shape allows you to go in and change or create specific shapes. And you can see here very simply the shape that we applied to our driveways was 680 high. If you had a lip, for example, on this one, you can see we've got a 30 mil lip. Uh, maybe we decide that we're going to apply this one to this driveway here. To do that, rather than edit them all globally, you can simply come to the pull down, click edit properties and click the driveway that you want to change. So I'm going to apply the 30 lip to this one here and click create driveways. And then we'll come back in and have a look at this one by running the design. We'll just set the exaggeration to two on this. You can see that's very, very similar in line and level. Maybe not quite the same as what I've got on my design, but you can see it's very, very similar. So again, this is helping me understand how my design is looking in relation to potential clashes. So a very useful feature that you can use to assess your driveways before and after the design.